Dance Macabre is the brand new ride here at Efteling. Here in the Netherlands, it's an intimate dynamic stage, the first of its type. It looks incredibly themed. It stands on the old ride area of Spook Slot. It ties in with that ride as well, and I'm really excited to go and experience this brand new ride system here at one of Europe's best theme parks. Want to come join me? So just gonna head into the queue line for my first ride on Dance Macabre. There's a slightly extended queue round to the side here, which we're gonna have to navigate first. And then it's into the main show building. Really liking these super gothic benches as well. You'd want one of those in your house, wouldn't you? So just heading into the main entrance now, only waited in that overflow for about 10 minutes, not too bad at all. There's a skull under the tree there in the queue line. Just on its own, but I do love the little details that you get here at Efteling. Yeah. Through the gates we go. So they've really split the queue line up into multiple sections here. That was just a random little graveyard that we were, a group of about maybe 40 or 50 of us were just loitering in for a little bit. Now look at we're heading into the main building. Got all the spooky smoke. Here we go into the music concourse. Beg your pardon. It's so eerie around here. <laughs> They've done a fantastic job in kind of building the atmosphere.
So I'm just taking my first ride on Dance Macabre here at Efteling. The first ever Intamin Dynamic Stage. It's a flat ride, indoors, heavily themed. And as you saw there, a really incredibly thematic and dramatic performance, if you like, because that's what it feels like more than a ride. It is a performance. So it began with the centerpiece kind of almost contracting as a really odd effect there, which I'm not sure was clear on the on the camera or not. And then of course you gently move up and tilt. It's done very subtly. You can tell you're moving, kind of a bit like a, um, a madhouse in that regard, that you can tell that there's movement happening. You're just not sure exactly what. And then you are treated to what is a essentially a moving performance as the dance macabre orchestral piece begins. The ghostly conductor is up there conducting his orchestra and everywhere you look as you're rotated around into different positions you see all kinds of impressive effects. Some are animatronic, some are screen based, some are just lighting effects from the glowing harp to the um, the staircases that kind of move from side to side and as the performance goes on and the music gets more intense you speed up it's a really good ride and it's clearly a ride that's aimed at the entire family. It's not insanely thrilling, but there are certainly moments there where you do feel the G-forces pin you back into your seats. Uh, the seats and restraints are very comfortable. This is of course a modern Intamin attraction and they are some of the most comfortable attractions around. That was really good. Um, it's something that you kind of have to experience yourself, I think, to get the full weight of exactly what's going on. I enjoyed it. Was I blown away? I don't think I'd say I was blown away. I think that comes down to the ride experience being more on the gentle side than the thrilling side. Like I say, this is something that is for all the family. And there is a little cheeky drop at the end, so Intamin tying into their kind of, their old tricks, if you like, from 13 and the like. But yeah, I enjoyed that. It's very impressive. It is a theme heavy ride, and that's what you've got to go into it expecting is something that's all about the theme rather than being a kind of a thrill heavy ride experience. It's also a, a ride system that lends itself to so many different scenarios and I can see a lot of parks, especially the more theme parks rather than amusement parks, doing something really cool with that. It can be reskinned, you can have different ride settings, so yeah, really impressive what they've done here with Dance Macabre. What else is there to say? Efteling always knock it out of the park when it comes to those kind of the real dramatic original theming pieces. It does tie in slightly to Spook Slot, which is the ride, or rather the walkthrough attraction that stood here in the place of Dance Macabre in years gone past. So not only are they investing in brand new ride technology, but they're also paying tribute to their own park's history as well. And that's something that I really like to see. So yeah, really impressed with Dance Macabre overall. Let me know what you think down in the comments. And I'll be, I'm filming a whole vlog here over the next two days. So there'll be a brand new vlog from Efteling up on the channel next week too. So subscribe if you'd like to see that. Thank you for coming and join me for my first ever ride here on Dance Macabre, and I'll catch you soon. Cheers, bye.